For more on this, I'm joined from our Port Elizabeth studio by the Federation of Unions of South Africa General Secretary, Dennis George. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. What's your view on Minister Gigaba saying there's a possibility that PIC funds could be used to capitalise SOEs like SAA? Yeah, no, look, Pedusa is totally opposed to, you know, these kinds of bailouts because South African Airways have already received, you know, for the last few years, more than 19 billion rand of bailouts. And fundamentally, the chronic problem in SAA is basically your corporate governance, your management, because what government has been doing all the while is to allow corporate management to deteriorate. And, and, and we are very concerned that if we overexpose government employees pension funds in the state-owned companies, like if you look at the overexposure in ESCOM also, it's already exposure. And who's going to pick up the tab is these funds are going to run into difficulties. So for us, the situation is the minister must go knock at other doors and he should leave the pension fund of government employees alone. Have you engaged with the PIC or are you planning to engage with them about this two trillion rand of clients' money that they handle and the government's possible plans for it? Look, there is a structural challenge the way that, you know, the PIC is the asset manager of the pension fund. And the fact is that government employ uh, and appoint uh, the, 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 the directors of this particular company so that they can invest these particular funds. And that's the reason why we as FEDUSA feel that the trusts of the government employee pension fund should be the people that direct the asset man ma management companies where they should invest the money. And if we are continuously going to come to this particular uh, public uh, you know, um, PIC, then we're going to have challenges because, you know, when the government employee pension fund is going to have uh, problems with liquidity, you know, it's going to be the taxpayer at the end of the day that have to come up with a shortfall in that particular fund. And for us, we think it is only proper if a person compare SAA with another company uh, like Telcom. You know, Telcom is now giving a dividend to government while SAA is staying in the queue. And the reason why it is in this particular situation is because government appoint incompetent people to, to be on the board of SAA. And also you saw that this company has been operating without a CEO for so a long period. And the people that must take the responsibility is government. Now, government is, the PIC owns, uh, is owned by the South African government. The Minister of Finance is a shareholder representative. How difficult do you think it would be to stop this if Minister decides to go ahead, considering what you've just said? Yes, look, the point is this. What was already started when Minister Pravin Gordon looked to appoint a new board for SAA and to appoint a new CEO for SAA? You know, the one person that's already serving there for eight years is the, um, the chairperson, um, Mrs. Dudu. And, and, and we believe that that person's term is already over long ago. And that is also the person that's responsible for the problems that we have in SAA. And that's the reason why SAA can only move forward if an entire new chairperson is there. And we are also welcoming the decision of the new CEO. But we believe that there should be a dialogue between business and government and labor. We also think it is important for government, if they want to turn SAA around, that they should consider appointing worker directors to the board. Uh, we also think that is critical where the political interference come in, where SAA must fly on routes, which is unprofitable, you know, to do, and, 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 and only to, to please people in, 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 in routes that is unprofitable, it's for us unacceptable. And therefore, if other companies flying in, in South Africa and in Africa can break even and can have a sustainable situation. Why don't this happen with South African Airways? What's your response to someone saying that the PIC handles almost two trillion uh, rand and that that large amount of money, even if it is dipped into, won't make a difference um, and will perhaps get the SAA ball rolling and then issues of leadership that you've just discussed can be dealt with after that? No, no, no. But you must remember, look at how much money have been pumped into South African Airways. South African Airways have received bailouts to the tune of 19 billion rand. 
the way that this company has been mismanaged, it is leasing planes at a very high cost. You know, the, the way that they restructured the company, they sold off the assets that they had, and that's the reason why it is very, very difficult for them, you know, to break even. And as a result of the mismanagement, they are now jeopardizing the jobs and decent work for our members. And, and that's the reason why we feel the only way that this matter can be resolved if there's going to be a proper dialogue between government, uh, business and labor. And from our side, we also want to see that there is more private sector involvement because private sector will bring the necessary skills to turn this particular company around.